Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 of chapter 1, which is the historical antecedents in the course of science and technology. In this part, I will be discussing about Sumerian, Babylonian, and Egyptian civilization. And we still have the same learning outcomes. So first, we have to discuss about Sumerian civilization. So Sumeria is located on the southernmost tip of ancient Mesopotamia. Sumerians are known for their high degree of cooperation with one another and their desire for great things. They are not con contented with the basic things that life can offer. This desire pushed them to develop many things connected with science and technology. Now, one of the major contributions of the Sumerians is the development of the first writing system known as cuneiform. It is a system that utilizes word pictures and triangular symbols, which are curved on clay using wedge instruments and then left to dry. So cuneiform allowed the Sumerians to keep records of things with great historical value or their everyday, everyday life. Now let's proceed to the Uruk city. Another important contribution of the Sumerians is the city of Uruk. It is a great wonder, not only because it is considered to be the first true city in the world, but also for the way it was erected. There were no building stones in the location of this city and lumber was limited, making the construction a big challenge. The Sumerians were able to build the city using only mud or clay from the river, which they mixed with reeds, producing sand-baked bricks and a true engineering fit. They used the bricks to make houses that protected them from the harsh weather and to build a wall around the city that prevented wild animals and neighboring raiders from entering. Now let's proceed to the great ziggurat of Ur. Another engineering and architectural feat of the Sumerians is the great ziggurat, ziggurat of Ur. The ziggurat, also called as the mountain of God, was built in the same manner that they constructed the city of Ur. Without much building materials, the structure was constructed using sun-baked bricks. The ziggurat serve as the sacred place of their chief god, where only their priests were allowed to enter. The temple showcases not only the elaborate and intricate Sumerian architecture, but also the remarkable technology used to build it. As such, even until today, people still enjoy and marvel at the preserved great ziggurat of Ur. And now... The next is irrigation and dikes. As population increased, so did the demand for food. The Sumerians were challenged to must produce food items, but the elements in the environment seem uncooperative. So it was difficult to get water from the rivers, thus they could not maintain farmlands. Some groups had scarce water supply, while others had problems with flooding caused by the river. As a solution to this dilemma, the Sumerians created dikes and irrigation or irrigation panels to bring water to farmlands and at the same time control the flooding of the rivers. This method was considered as one of the world's most beneficial engineering works. Through the dikes and canals, the Sumerians were able to to enjoy year-long farming and harvesting, which increased their food production. Another challenge to the Sumerians was transportation. At that time, the wheel was not yet invented. The main mode of transportation was through waterways such as rivers and seas. Boats were used to carry large quantities of products and were able to cover large distances. 
However, they wanted to discover faraway lands to settle since the population was getting larger and boats were not enough to accommodate more people and products. They needed a mode of transportation that did not require much human resources. So some sources attribute to the Sumerians the invention of sailboats to address their increasing demands. Sailboats were essential in transportation and trading as well as in fostering culture, information, and technology. Now, in the latter part of their history, the Sumerians were able to invent the wheel since the specialized tools needed to create it were already available. The first wheels were not made for transportation, but for farm work and food processes. With the use of the wheel and axle, mass production was made easier. Farmers were able to mill grains with less effort in less time. Now, another farm technology invented by the Mesopotamians is the plow. However, our humans evolved from being food gatherers to farm cultivators. Farmers needed a technology which would enable them to dig the ground where seeds would be planted. The plow was invented to dig the earth in a faster pace. As the plow breaks the ground, the farmer would just drop the seed and farm work would already be done. With this tool, farmers could cultivate larger parcels of land faster enabling them to mass produce food without taking so much effort and time. Now, let's proceed to the next civilization, which is the Babylonian civilization. It emerged near the Tigris and Euphrates River, as what you can see on the map. The Babylonians were great builders, engineers, and architects. One of their major contributions is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. And one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Now today, people can only marvel at the beauty of the famous Hanging Gardens of Babylon from the stories of historians and paintings that portray the place. It was said to be a structure made up of layers upon layers of gardens that contained several species of plants, trees, and vines. According to legends, the great Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II built the gardens for his wife, Queen Amethyst. However, no physical evidence has been found to prove the existence of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Its exact location is also unknown. Since time immemorial, people have been debating about the existence of the said mythical place. Many said it was just a product of the creative imagination of the great king because it lacked documentation or archaeological evidence. On the other hand, if it really existed, it must have been destroyed by war, erosion, or an earthquake. True or not, hearing the stories and description of the place would be enough to inspire all to anyone. One can imagine the thick greenery decorated by beautiful flowers coming from different places in the garden and complicated design of the infrastructure. So if the stories were true, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon may be considered as one of the greatest engineering and architectural achievements of the world that is almost impossible to replicate. Next is the Egyptian civilization. Another early civilization famous for its legacy is the Egyptian, located in North Africa. Many stories tell about the engineering feats of the Egyptians, especially regarding the infrastructures established by the pharaohs. Aside from engineering technology, the Egyptians have contributed other practical things that the world now uh, considered as essential. It is thus safe to say that the pyramids are not the only contribution of the Egyptian civilization to the modern world. 
One of the earlier contributions of Egyptian civilization was the paper or papyrus. Although Egypt was not the first to develop a system of writing, they were able to make writing easier for the world. Before the Egyptian innovation, clay tablets were used. However, safekeeping and transporting them were a major problem. Clay tablets were very fragile, heavy, and delicate to handle. So, bringing them to places was a major challenge. Hence, the Egyptian invention of the paper or papyrus was a welcome development. Papyrus was a plant that grew abundantly along the Nile River in Egypt. They were able to process the plant in order to produce thin sheets in which one could write down things. Since papyrus was lighter and thinner than clay tablets, it was easy to carry and store. The sheets were also less breakable as compared to clay tablets. This invention was a major accomplishment in Egyptian record keeping and communications. Pe people then were able to send letters or correspondences anywhere in the world since the pieces of paper were very light that they could be carried and delivered by birds. Moreover, record keeping was no longer a problem since documents would not take huge storage spaces. Therefore, it was easier to keep them, to keep them away from raiders who often destroyed records of the nations they invaded. So when the Egyptians invented the papyrus or the paper, engra engraving ceased to be used in writing. As a result, the Egyptians invented ink by combining soot with different chemicals to produce inks of different colors. The ink must withstand elements of nature since it was used to record history, culture, and codified laws. It must also be tamper-proof so that people could not simply tinker with those written down by authorities. Now, like the Sumerians, the Egyptians were also developed a system of writing using symbols known as hieroglyphics. Although some say that hieroglyphics was adopted from the early writing system established in Mesopotamia as a result of trade between civilizations, the Egyptians believed that this writing system was provided to them by their gods. This form of writing can still be seen today and remains to be as famous as the pyramids where they were found. Hieroglyphics was the language that tells the modern world of the history and culture of the ancient Egyptians. The records were well preserved since they were carved at the walls of pyramids and other important Egyptian structures. The Egyptians also invented the use of cosmetics. Although cosmetics in the modern times are used to improve and highlight the facial features of a person, their functions in ancient Egypt was for both health and aesthetic reasons. Egyptians wore coal around the eyes to prevent and even cure eye diseases. Coal was created by mixing soot or malachite or malachite with mineral galena. Egyptians also believe that a person wearing makeup was protected from evil then that beauty was a sign of holiness. At present, the cosmetic industry is a booming multi-billion industry. Now, another cosmetic invention of ancient Egyptians is the wig. At present, wigs are used to enhance the appearance of people who are balding or those who want to try new hair trends. Meanwhile, during the ancient Egyptian times, wigs were worn for health and wellness rather than for aesthetic purposes. The wigs were used to protect the shaved heads of the wealthy Egyptians from the harm, harmful rays of the sun. Wearing a wig was better than putting on a scarf or any other head cover since a wig allowed heat to escape. Moreover, it was considered cleaner than natural hair because it prevented the accumulation of head lice. Another important ancient 
Egyptian contribution is the water clock. This device utilizes gravity that affects the flow of water from one vessel to the other. The amount of water or its weight, depending on the method used, remaining in the device determines how much time has elapsed since it is full. In the process, time is measured. So the water clock was widely used as a timekeeping device during the ancient times. So this ends the uh, discussion for the three civilization, which is the Sumerian, Babylonian, and Egyptian civilizations. So if you have questions, you can post in our Facebook group chat.